In this video, I'll show you how to visualize data using different types of charts supported by the DevExpress dashboard. To get started, the dashboard designer is already connected to a data source. To create a new chart, click the Chart button in the Home ribbon tab. Drag and drop the Sales field to the Value section and the Region field to the Argument section. The chart will display sales by different regions using bars with heights proportional to values that they represent. To sort argument values by summary values, click the Region menu button and select Sort by Sales. Then click Region to switch sorting to the descending order. To rename the chart, use the Edit Names command from the context menu. Let's add the Customer Segment field to the Series section to slice sales in each region by a customer segment. The chart will display sales for all segments using bars of different colors. To change the type of a chart series, click the Options button next to the Sales Data item. On the Series Type tab, click the required icon to select the required series type. For instance, the Stacked Bar series show the contribution of individual categories to the whole, while the Full Stacked Bar series allows you to compare the percentage that each value contributes to the total across categories. Let's see how to filter the chart. Right-click the chart and select the Edit Filter command. In the Invoked Filter Editor, specify the required filter criteria and click OK to filter the chart. To reset filtering, use the Clear command. The Chart Dashboard item supports the Drill Down feature that allows you to change the detail level of displayed data. Go to the Data tab and enable Drill Down. Then drop the State Province field to Arguments. You can click the required region to see sales by corresponding states. Use the Drill Up button to move to the parent level. If you want to limit the number of displayed bars, switch to the Design tab, invoke the X-axis Settings dialog, and limit the number of visible points by 5. You can now navigate through the argument axis using the scroll bar. Let's add another Chart Dashboard item and bind it to the Sales and Order Date fields to see the variation of sales over time. Click the Options button and see the different types of the line and area series types that can be used to visualize historical data. Finally, add the Region field to the series to see the variation of sales for different regions. The Chart Dashboard item allows you to display several diagrams that share the same argument axis. Click the Add Pane button in the Data Items area and drop the Profit field to the Value section of the second pane. The chart displays two different series for the same set of argument values. Click the Profit menu button and select Color by None to color chart lines and bars corresponding to different regions with identical colors. Let's see how to add interactivity to the dashboard containing a chart. Select the first chart, go to the Data tab, and enable Multiple Master Filter. Click different regions to see the variation of sales and profit on the right chart. To filter data using series values, click the Series button and select the required series that corresponds to a specific customer segment. Use the Ignore Master Filters button to make the dashboard item unaffected by master filters. Let's take a look at different options that affect the way the Chart Dashboard item visualizes data. Use the Rotate button to rotate the diagram 90 degrees. Click the X-axis Settings button to see options available for the X-axis. The Reverse checkbox can be used to reverse the axis while the Show X-axis checkbox allows you to hide and show the X-axis. For the y-axis, you can specify if the zero level of the y-axis should always be visible. The Show Grid Lines option allows you to manage the visibility of grid lines. You can also specify a custom text for the axis title. The Legend Page group allows you to show or hide the legend and specify its position.
The Series Type Gallery allows you to specify the required series type. Finally, you can adjust colors used to distinguish different customer segments. To do this, click the Edit Colors button and select the required color for a specific customer segment. There are other chart types. The Dashboard Designer is already connected to the table containing the variation of minimum and maximum temperatures over a year. Change the series type to Range. Note that the Range chart requires two sets of values. Drop the min and max fields to the value 1 and value 2 placeholders. Then, drop the month field with the month group interval to arguments. The chart will display the variation of temperatures using bars. The chart will display the variation of temperatures using bars. You can switch the series type to range area. Use the Show Point Markers option from the Common Options tab to enable point markers. Finally, let's see financial charts that are used to illustrate stock prices. Add a new chart to the dashboard and change its series type to stock. This type requires four sets of values, open, high, low, and close prices. Drop corresponding fields to placeholders. Then. Drop the date fields with the day, month, year group interval to arguments. Go to the Data tab and disable the Always Show Zero Level option for the Y axis. Add the List Box Filter element to the dashboard. Bind it to the ticker field and change its type to radio. You can then filter the chart by selecting the required ticker. And that's it. Thanks for watching, and thank you for choosing DevExpress.